Welcome back to another edition of Vintage Classic Movies. The Treasure of the Sierra Madre, made in 1948, was so good that Jack L. Warner, the studio boss, he was quoted as saying it was definitely the greatest motion picture we have ever made. Now keep in mind, that could have been because with a budget that exceeded $3.5 million, this movie was the most expensive production ever mounted by Warner Brothers up until that time, 1948. And I know by today's standards, 3.5 million is minuscule. Heck, you, you can't even make a donut commercial with 3.5 mil anymore. But back in 1948, this was an enormous budget to make a film. The Treasure of the Sierra Madre was directed by the great John Huston, and it starred Humphrey Bogart as a down and out drifter named Fred C. Dobbs. He is slumming around Tampico, Mexico, and he meets Bob Curtin, played by the actor Tim Holt. And Tim Holt was best known for his leading roles in old Western films. So the two of them meet up with a toothless old gold prospector named Howard, who is played by Walter Houston, who happens to be the director's real-life father. And Howard tells them that there's gold up in the mountain. So the three of them, they pool their money together and they buy some supplies and equipment and they head off into the Sierra Madre Mountains to find gold. Well, they do find the treasure in the mountains, but they also find a lot of trouble. Uh, they become paranoid, insecure, and of course, as you would expect, greedy. Uh, they don't trust each other with the treasure, and then they meet up with some nasty bandits. And you know the bandits I'm talking about because it is one of the most quoted lines in the history of film. Even though it's usually quoted wrong, the correct quote is, We don't need no badges. I don't have to show you any stinking badges. It's an awesome moment in an awesome film. This movie isn't really as much about the gold as it is about the character and Bogart's delusions near the end of the film are alone worth the price of admission. If you want to learn about the true corrosiveness of greed, then this is the movie to see. Back in 2007, the American Film Institute ranked this as the 38th greatest movie of all time. It was nominated for four Oscars, winning three of the four. John Huston got two of them. He got one for the writing of the screenplay and the other for directing. And his dad, Walter Huston, won for Best Supporting Actor. Uh, it, it made it the first time that a father-son won Oscars for the same picture. In fact, Walter Huston's performance was so good that John Huston started getting notes from the studio telling him, look, tone down your father's performance because he's upstaging Bogart's performance. John Huston once said that working with his father on this picture and his dad's subsequent Oscar win were among the very favorite moments of his life. And unbelievably, Humphrey Bogart was not nominated for his incredible performance as Fred C. Dobbs in this film, but he did end up winning an Oscar four years later under the same director, John Huston, with his awesome work on The African Queen. The Treasure of the Sierra Madre is a great way to spend a couple hours. I highly recommend seeing this movie, and I hope you enjoyed this video. Please thumb it up if you did enjoy it, and subscribe to my channel. And also leave a comment below, that way I know you're out there and enjoying them, and I'll keep making these. And let me know what your favorite classic movie is, okay? And if you'd like to see the list of movies that are in my personal collection, feel free to go to my website, VintageClassicMovies.com. They're all listed there. And if you leave your email while you're there, I will email you notifications whenever I do a video like this so you can keep up with them, all right? Thanks so much. Thanks for joining me on Vintage Classic Movies.